Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hey! Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. Well, Bob, in our opinion, of course, of course. I'm going to let you pronounce these words, Brad. Well, Bob, <laughs> we, we're going to do this on back pain associated with these four diagnoses. They are probably the most difficult for me to pronounce. So, And different people pronounce them differently. So if you get diagnosed with either spondylolysis, spondylolisthesis, spondylitis, or spondylosis. Very nice, yes. Fred. And you say, oh, don't worry for the majority of these diagnoses. It's not necessarily serious. It can be, but we're going to go through them one at a time. I would say for the majority, it's not serious. Is that what I said? I know. <laughs> what did I say, Tim? I was backing you up. <laughs> Thank you. You know, Scott, the thing is back. they all sound similar. Right. Because they all involve spondy, which is? The spine. Uh, spine. Yeah, I don't right. know if it's Latin or Greek, but it's right. one, one of those. Uh, right. Tell us. So anyways, once you understand them, these, and uh, it's it's not so bad uh, with, with any luck. So spondylolysis. Gotcha. Spondylolysis is typically in the low back. It doesn't have to be, though, but we're going to look at it in the low back because mo many of these are. Um, and what we're going to do is let's say we take out uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, and the fifth vertebra is where you have this diagnosis. With spondylolysis, <laughs> the, the, fifth, a, the fifth bone down there. Well, we're actually going to look up here. Oh, yeah. Be, just okay. because it's easier right. to show on here. Uh, it's typically it's a stress fracture in the vertebra. Uh, so oftentimes it's from multiple movements, uh, something of that nature. You don't really know what happened. Right. It just starts to hurt. And it's typically found with a C scan, not an X-ray. Although you can see it with an X-ray, but it's that's beyond our capabilities. So if we look at the fourth vertebra on this model, we just took this part off, and here we've got the pelvis, okay, the sacrum, and we're right about this level. Now, you're going to have to zoom in, Tanner. Okay. So, vertebra are basically all the same from the lumbar to the neck. They're just shaped a little differently. Yeah, they, they have the same parts. Right. So, if you look at this line right here, that is the par inticularis. So that is where you have the stress fracture right there. The spinal cord is right here. We've got the peripheral nerves here. So it's close to a lot of important structures. But uh, fortunately, it's only on one side. Right. So there's no real physical movement right. there on, on the vast majority. The, the spine, the, uh, the vertebrae stays stable. Right. So typically you have back pain with this and the back pain is typically worse when you extend backwards. Uh, so you avoid that. 20%, not 20%, one out of 20 people have this diagnosis. Oftentimes it's asymptomatic. You're not even... 20%? No, one out of 20. Oh, one out of 20. Yeah, one out of 20. So it's 5%. Right. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, typically it goes and people you know, live their lives with some back pain, they right. avoid extension. It's not a real big deal, And hopefully. it might not even give them any pain. Right, exactly. Uh, let's go to the next one. Now, this is sure. a mouthful. Uh, I'm really particular to this one because I have this diagnosis and uh, have a good model of it. Spondylolisthesis. Bob, can you pronounce it the way you like to pronounce it? Spondylolisthesis. There you go. That sounds good, too. One way or another, right. this is where it's the same... Uh, uh, Fracture right here, except for the fracture is not just on one side, it's it on, both on both sides. sides. And the stesis is the movement. So you actually have movement of one vertebra on top of the other. So these are vertebra coffee cups. They start out lined up like they're supposed to, and one shifts forward like this one. L4, L5 are the most commonly ones that are moved. This is what I have. I have, there's four grades, one, two, three, four. So one would be very slight yep. and, you know, just eyeballing it. You know, it, about, by the time you get to four, it, it might be surgery. Yeah, right? and they'll put in typically uh, hardware, something to stabilize, stabilize it, it. Uh, with surgery. 
it doesn't get to that point very often. Five, five to seven percent of the population have this to a certain degree. They estimate you often it it's, can be asymptomatic or non-painful. Oftentimes, it does result in back pain. Uh, mine at this point, and I do have oftentimes it's common the disc actually disintegrates right. or is fused. It's fused, so this bone that bone is fused to that yeah, bone, and that doesn't happen overnight. And you had symptoms at one point where you couldn't run. Right. You had pain all the way down the leg. Yep, because what will happen is that the this gap right here changes, and you get some pinching on the nerve. You get sciatica symptoms with it. You could also get uh, pinching on the main spinal cord. Yep, yep. And that's yeah. worse. Yeah, I don't know if that's quite as common, uh, right. but the sciatica is sure. more common this if you have this you should see someone right. uh, we've got great videos on it there's some specific exercises you can do to help curb this uh, mine has stabilized over a few years i'm back to running i i ski i do a number of things but i'm careful right you know relatively yep. <laughs> <laughs> so that's spondylolisthesis there is such a thing as retro uh spondy which the vertebra actually moves the opposite direction. It's not near as common. And there's people that do ask for that. We do have a video on it. But it actually, it, it, the symptoms are the same, right? Going back, it's going to hurt? Uh, no, I think you flex forward on that one. Really? Yeah, I'd have to look at my video. I, I did do research on it, but in the videos out, I didn't right. refresh my memory. Sure. So <laughs> that's a good one. Um, let's see, did we forget anything else with that? No. And typically, I do want to mention, if you're younger and you have this, like gymnasts often have it when they right. land and or you jump yeah. off a, a, a higher level, like off the back of a pickup truck and you land with your back arch, that can spur this on. Mine, I think, started either in wrestling with a really silly move that they hope they outlawed by now or made it illegal or when I was... You getting pinned? <laughs> no, no. If I if I show you, you would not believe they allow that. Just move where sure. you arch your back. Anyways, uh, kneeboarding is where I really arched hard, where you jump the wake and your knees are strapped in. Anyways, if Sounds you like waterboarding, yeah, it's, it's a little torture. different than that, but it, it definitely hurt. Anyways, uh, if you're younger, usually four to six weeks of serious uh, therapy and exercises, and you should be get ready to get uh, go back to the event. Really yeah. kind of showing you what you can do, what you can't do, yeah. and how to manage things when things go bad. Exactly. Exactly. So the next one, spondylitis. Right. So spondy spine, itis, I-T-I-S, right. is inflammation. So it's simply inflammation of the spine. Um, this one uh, oftentimes occurs around the facet joints where arthritis can set in and cause the inflammation. There's other reasons for inflammation. There's up to eight forms of spondylitis. So if you have this, you need to talk to your doctor and get details. The what most is common is ankylosing spondylitis. Mm, right. And in that case, it's the entire spine that gets affected. Yep. And it gets a bamboo appearance. Sure. If you look at the spine, especially uh, from the front view, it looks like a bamboo. And I think part of that is, is there's degeneration of the disc. Sure. And then the, the bones start to fuse together and right. get very rigid and stiff. So activity, gentle stretching, uh, pretty much on all these is important. You just need to know which direction to stretch and which direction not to stretch. What I do remember about ankylosing spondylitis, Brad, it would affect the shoulders and the hips too. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's one they, of those things that may be a little systemic. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was. So uh, again, refer to your doctor on that. And make sure you understand it. Uh, spondylo spondylosis. Right. Uh, now, this is probably the most vague term because spondy spine osis just means a lesion or a pathology on the spine. Typically, it's degenerative spine disorder. Uh, gets worse with age. It's like getting gray hair. It, you might get this diagnosis, and it's because you have a spine that's degenerating, right. but it's not unusual. But it's, it's causing like arthritis pain. almost, really. Right. I mean, yep. it's just de de degenerating and, and, uh, not being what it was. Right. Yeah. For example, in the United States, 3 million people are diagnosed with this every year. Uh, and they're living a life relatively normal. They probably have some pain and are taking some maybe over-the-counter meds oftentimes. Right. Um, it can get worse. It can get to the point on a serious end where there's actually uh, where the – let's take yeah. this one. 
where the, the uh, spinal cord right. goes into is actually getting compressed, and that can cause some problems. And you'll know about that. You definitely, your doctor will talk to you about that and approach that accordingly. Yeah, I had a friend who had it in the cervical spine, mm -hmm. and they called it cervical stenosis, and yep. he was getting symptoms down to his, to his legs. Yep, yep, so. yep. And but that's, like you say, it's not a common one, right. but it can be. So uh, be aware, keep in uh, close touch with your doctor if you have that so you clear that out, and they'll let you know. Yeah. All right. So there we go. We have the spondies. Four spondies. Oh, that's right. Spondy low spondy. No, I don't <laughs> even try. They're it. a mouthful, one don't way or another. Uh, good luck with your back, and we hope that everything goes well. Keep your powder dry.